We are watching one of the biggest football fixtures in Portugal. Two giants, two very passionate fan bases and a load of trophies between them. It's Sporting versus Porto. This is a top of the table clash where they're both currently sitting on the same points. The last five times they've played, Porto have won all five. But this year they're different level with the likes of Jokovic and Edwards in attack. However, with this head-to-head -head stat, tonight is going to be a challenge. The rivalry between the Dragons and the Lions is one of the biggest and most important fixtures in Portuguese football. It's the North versus the South and hopefully one big atmosphere to back up this huge occasion. Welcome to Lisbon. And welcome to Portugal. It's my first time in this city and I cannot wait to explore it before the 9 pm kickoff tonight. I haven't got a clue where I'm going, but if you just go to any old random tube station, right, and then just walk down some streets around there and I'm sure you'll find something. So look at that. I've already found something. I mean, it's not spectacular, but it's something. This is better than where I started off anyway. Let's go that way. I need somewhere which sells coffee immediately. 10 a.m., but that early 6 30 a.m. flight has really done me in. Need some coffee. Thank you. Right, I've got my coffee. I've got a pastel de nata as well. When I'm in Portugal, I'm going to try everything out. Just in case you didn't know, uh, Ronaldo's from Portugal so it's quite big here. Just in case you didn't know, I'm, I'm like to let you guys know, okay? I don't even know what it consists of, to be honest, but it's just a pastry. Oh, mate. Okay, that has definitely got my approval. So this right in front of me is the Lisbon Cathedral. It is the oldest church in the city and it's actually a really good site. Especially when you've got the old trams going around the corner. It looks good. Look where I've just walked into. Look at this. It's one massive square and... <laughs> One massive Christmas tree. But flipping it, this is one big square, isn't it? And the sun is flipping it. But yeah, this is nice. Definitely has my approval, I'll tell you that now. Don't let the weather fool you that it's actually quite cold right now. It's blue sky, sun's out, but it is still cold. But this is absolutely gorgeous. Lisbon, what a place. I thought I'd just laid eyes on the Golden Gate Bridge for a minute. Genuinely thought I was in San Francisco for a minute. <laughs> To be fair, having like a plaza, public space, square like this, you got a bridge in the distance, you got the sea just here. So far, so good, the city. Uh, it's getting my approval. Even look at the buildings here, like the architecture in these. It's not what you normally get around Europe. It's a bit more hilly. It's a bit more built up in this area, especially this country or the city. So that is one thing which has appealed to me right now. But hopefully you see what I mean by like the hill in the background. You got all the buildings up there, houses. It's very well built up and I'm liking it. The buildings are also very colourful as well. You got yellow, blue. It's time to bring more culture to the vlog because I want to try a Francis. Cena? I might pronounce that really wrong, but basically it's like a load, I don't actually know, what is it? Smoked Dorito ham, what on earth? It's just look at it, look at it. I think it's got to be done though, we've got to try it. It's a proper Portuguese dish, so we've got to try it out. Oh, okay, okay, we are feasting, we are feasting. This looks uh, something. Right, I think I've done well here. That was a lot to get through, but it was very nice. It was full of bread, cheese, there was eggs, there was Dorito, there was sausage, there was a steak in there, there was so much in there. I am defeated, but it was very nice. I. I Am I, am I basically Portuguese now? That was some seriously good scran. And if you come to Lisbon, Portugal full stop, you need to try that out. But now I need to check into the hotel. And my friends will be arriving from Gibraltar later, so we'll meet up with them before going to the game. But my word, I'm absolutely stuffed right now. Right, I've just checked into the hotel room, ladies and gentlemen. And you might think, ah, oh, you got up your subscribers, you get nicer hotel rooms. No, you don't, boys, you don't. You've got cracks in the wall, nice. Bed one, bed two, curtains. Bed three, more cracks in the wall. You've got this thingy my mob, more cracks in the ceiling. And moving into the shower, look at this. Mind a step here. Oh my, oh Jesus Christ, okay then. This is what we're working with, ladies and gentlemen. This is what we've got. Don't know why I've panned down to the skid marks. But yeah, it's not bad, is it? The thing with me is I will always find the cheapest solution. As long as it's got a bed, as long as it's got a shower and a toilet, I'm all set. And this will do perfectly for me for one night. 48 pounds divided by three, and no, I'm not gonna do the maths because I don't know. It will do the job for one night. But isn't this just wonderful? It is. We're out and about again. We're going into the Christmas market. It's time for the football now, but first of all, we need a little bit of a pit stop. Time to head to the stadium. Here we go. Let's get to Sport in Lisbon versus Porto. This is the first time I'm ever going to try a super box. I remember editing all of Fogden's vlogs last year and he came to Sporting, came to Portugal a lot of times and always had a super box and kept going on about how good it was. Right, something you may not know about the stadium, Lidl and Burger King. Both connected to the stadium and inside it, um, interesting. And here is the gaff in all its glory. This is some way to take off your first Portuguese stadium. It's even got a running track down here as well. I mean, you won't be finding me running around here, but this is a beautiful stadium. First one in Portugal, and I'm sure the view from our seat as well is going to be that extra bit special. This is one really open concourse here. Teams looking very strong from both sides. I'm expecting goals, I'm expecting action, and I'm expecting a good atmosphere. And here we go then, first time looking out at Sporting Lisbon Stadium. All right, all right, this is massive. 
And they've got such a big away end for the Porto fans. Look at the Porto fans, there's so many of them. Remember, it's the north of Portugal versus the south of Portugal. And this is the view we have of the stadium, oh my day. It is an absolute monster of a gap. But look at the view, this is from our seat. Oh my days. Arr. The game hasn't kicked off yet and everyone's already jumping around. Oh, we take that. So we've got the display of all of these lions. Everyone's, everyone's got the lions out. We've all got the lions going, even I have. There you go. There's a lot of lions going on here. And then there's Porto. And then there's Karim. There you go, there's three lines. This should be a good game. I'm expecting fireworks here. We all know why though, because it's the Lions versus the Dragons. It will be interesting to see how the atmosphere is full stop. Everyone's got Santa, green Santa hats. I do feel like I'm missing out. And here we go, then the teams are coming out. Sporting Lisbon versus Porto. Second versus third right now. They've got an anthem going on here. Oh, hello. Hello, hold on. Hold on a minute. I was not expecting that, okay? Look at it. The lines are going off, the pyros are going off here. There's a flash going off in the stand. Well, it's a bit mental then. You can't take a bottle cap into Wembley, let alone this. Now it's time for the football. Let's hope some action. Goals, scraps a lot. I bet there'll be a red card in this game. That's all I'm going to say, a red card. Flash is going off over here. Everyone's got a scarf. Everyone's got one. We are underway with Stanford going on. Let's hope for a good game of football now. Tell you what, they love their flashing pyro stuff over in this section here. They love it over there. Come on, you're Chris. Turn now. Listen to this. On real start, and they deserve that goal. Everyone's jumping around now. I'll tell you what, I love the vibes of these Portuguese fans. I'll tell you that. Big yacht. Pepe's getting booked. There you go. There you go, laser as well. Tell you what, Pepe will get sent off. He'll get sent off. No one likes him around here. Two yellow cards already, that's 16 minutes in. There is going to be a red card. Look what's going up now. They've got a banner going off over here. And in the away end, they've got pyros going off as well. They like popping these off at random times, don't they? They've got fireworks going off. Fireworks going off in a sport and what is going on? You can barely bring a water bottle in in England, let alone this. the monitor or something. I don't know what it could be, it must have been a foul. It's not a goal, it's a free kick, it's a free kick. Even though these guys 
probably don't have a clue. So the foul the ref was looking at the whole time was actually a foul. And now it's half time and a break. 1-0 Sporting. But I've watched it back on the video. I don't see a foul in that, but it's been action. It's been fouls, it's been drama, it's been everything. And I'm looking forward to the second half. This is the biggest set of handbags I've ever seen in my life. Oh my God. The Pirates are going off again over here. There must be a point going on here. He must be bleeding of some sort because the fact he's making this gesture, I don't know. Basically, Pepe just swiped at him. But the ref's not even buying into it for a yellow or anything. He's going for AR. It could be a red. It could be a red. To be fair, he swiped at him. And I'm so shocked that not even a yellow card or anything. Maybe he didn't even see it, but... It looks like it's going to be a red card. When he goes to monitor, you know what happens. And it's Pepe. He's doing it. Oh! He's gone. Pepe is gone. Red free. He's been red free the whole time. The whole time. Pepe's been on that pitch from minute one. He's been red free. I did say he was going to get sent off. And there you go. He's lost his head. And that is it, Pepe. That's it. Sport fans have got optimism now. They could finally beat Porto in five attempts. I like the vibe of these sporting fans, I must say. This has been an insane experience. For the first time in Portugal as well, it's a good one. Got to raise it through, he can square it. He's done it. And that is the winner. You like to think it's the winner. And now we'll for sure be to the villain. The thing is, I'm actually going to the dance in England tomorrow. I must say, the atmosphere all game for these sporting fans has been incredible. Now this could be an opportunity for number three. Plays it in, touch, bang. Oh, he's offside anyway, to be fair. Oh my God, it could be it. Oh my God, they got a goal. Offside. You can tell things are not working for Porto when. They get, even get a goal back with 10 men, and it still doesn't count. With one minute to go, it looks like the three points are going Sporting's way. First time they would have beaten Porto in the last five attempts. It's always been Porto wins, but not tonight. <laughs> what a time it's been here today. And now it's the final whistle. A 2-0 win to Sporting Lisbon. Leave a like, subscribe, share it out to all of you guys. Support Sporting Lisbon, and I'll see you guys later.